Hello everyone, Larry Satchwell here. I had a present coming in the mail yesterday. Um, this is from Woodcraft. I've been wanting a spokeshave for a long, long time. I have a curved one, but I've never had a straight one. Um, I've contemplated many times of making my own, but uh, Woodcraft put a free shipping code in my email. And so I pulled the trigger. It's uh, about 60 bucks, $55, something like that. It had mixed reviews. Some people said it was too heavy. Some people said they liked the weight of it. A Wood River straight spoke shave. Comes in a nice wooden box. Christmas in November. No shave November. I'm a cancer survivor, so I'm not shaving this month. Ah. There we go. Kind of like a wine box. What a beaut. This is heavy. No instructions on how to change it or adjust it, which I find interesting. Well, I just looked at their website, and uh, sometimes these days with the internet, they give you a little PDF on how to use it. I've never used the spoke shape, so, uh, I, and I've certainly never had an adjustable one. So I guess I just need to play around with it. There's a couple screws right here. Right now, I can open the throat of it with these brass knobs. But as I rub my finger, oh, there we go. I didn't, didn't look like there was any adjustment in here. Now that is wide open. I don't think I want it that wide open. I don't expect this to work very well right out of the box. I expect I'll have to sharpen it. And that was another critique that uh, it's not easy to find the angle or you to put it in a honing guide. That has no bite at all. I'll tell you, I'm not a novice woodworker, but I am a novice spokeshave woodworker. And I'm disappointed that Woodcraft isn't more supportive on how to use this. All right, now I've got a pretty good throat in here, but this side is way more open than the other. That looks like it's going to take a big bite. I've got all these bowl blanks. This is uh, red maple. I always carve out the bowls as soon as they're green, as soon as I cut them, rough cut them. But I don't know if they're gonna crack, so I always wait. These have been on a shelf for about six to eight months. I don't expect this uh, to be really sharp right out of the, the chute here, but we'll give it a shot. Wow, I'm taking a big chunk out. All right, that's where I'm disappointed in Woodcraft. They don't, I'm a novice at this. I can see what happened. This came loose. So I need to crank down on those brass knobs a lot more. Still a big chunk here. Trying to find the grain on this. That's pretty impressive coming right out of the box as far as sharpness goes. All right, I see I've already tried to chop this one a little bit with something else. I'm not sure, I don't remember. Well, that's just taking way too big a bite. And those knobs are still good. Uh, so I guess I'm still on the learning curve, having not ever used a spoke shape before. Well, this has got some funky grain right here. All right, this is where I'd like to use it with one hand, and I'm not sure I can. That's one of the...
reviews. All right, so, oh man, I almost dropped it. Whoa. So what's happened again, the brass has given way. My hands aren't as strong as they used to be, but I've got those tightened down as far as I can. All right. Either I'm trying to take too big a bite or the blade's dull. So I'm going to try to sharpen this blade. That was one of the complaints that it was difficult to sharpen. But I'm going to give it a shot. Well, first I took this plate off and that did absolutely nothing to take the blade off. So then I unscrewed the brass knobs and discovered this. Now, I can see why this is going to be hard to sharpen. You've got to have a stone that's going to fit in there. I thought these pins may be threaded, but I don't think so. They look like they're jammed in there. I don't see any evidence of threads. I'll give this a gentle turn without trying to cut myself. Uh, it is threaded. Beautiful, left-handed thread. See, this is where Woodcraft should give you a PDF. I'm sure I'm not the first time user of a draw knife. I can see some nicks in here. I don't think I did that. This is sharpened at a 25 degree angle. That shouldn't be too hard to find by hand. I'm gonna start with 300 grit here. I think I've hit the angle there pretty well. So just to double check myself, I don't want to, I don't think I want to put a micro bevel on this. I've colored it with some marker. Oh, it looks a lot better already. Still quite a few marks in there. This could take a while. I've switched over to the thousand side now. I don't find it hard to sharpen because that this face is so big it's really easy to find the bevel. I did flatten out the back a little bit on the 300 side. I'll do it more on this side too. Woodcraft's Website, when you look at this, takes you to a Rob Kosman video, which is a very good video, but it's on bench planes. It's not on, it's not on uh, spoke shaves. So I'm not exactly why they direct you due to that. But if you're not following Rob Kosman on YouTube and you're a woodworker, you're missing out on some great information. So the... The last thing I want to do is hone this. All right, I've been doing this for about uh, 15 minutes, sharpening 300 and then 600. It's, it can be sharper, but I just wanted to see for myself if the reviews were correct that it was hard to sharpen. I found it harder to just figure out how to get it apart. Now to get it back together. Were these on the top or the bottom? Oh man, that was a great question. That looks right. I'll put a pretty thin throat on it this time. I think once I dial this in, I'm gonna really like it, but getting it dialed in is a great learning process. So I'm rubbing my finger here the opposite direction to feel if it's even. Because I think if I rub my finger the other way, I'd slice it. Let's give this one a shot. You know, I'm sure a lot of this is user error. Because I just have to find where this grain is. But I've been carving for a long, long time. So it's not getting into real tight spots. That's some pretty green on this maple right here. 
All right, I'm starting to get it. So overall impressions, I like the heft of it. My only complaint is with Woodcraft not putting up a PDF or something to give first time users like me some idea how to use it. I love the box, that's gonna be a great storage box. Uh, I will be able to finish these spoons and make them as stocking stuffers for my children, grown children. I like the storage case. Overall, I'm pleased with the plane, just a little upset with Woodcraft. And that's my impressions. Thanks for watching.